Analyzing Persuasive Techniques in Advertising, Module 1. Advertising is a marketing tool companies use to get you to do, buy, or think something. If you are 11 to 19 years old, you are an elusive and valuable customer to companies who sell products and services using radio, print, television, and online advertising. Teens are important to advertisers because they tend to be early adopters of new products and services and have brand preferences that are not yet firmly defined. Today, young people have more independence in their decision making about what to buy than ever before. The ability of young people to influence their parents to buy products is called pester power and advertisers want to harness that force to their advantage. It's estimated that youth in America aged 8 to 18 years old spend about seven and a half hours each day or 53 hours a week enjoying entertainment media. With the increase in mobile technology, this amount of exposure to advertising is expected to continue to increase. As a result, companies target young people for advertising using the internet, social media, music and gaming sites, as well as radio, print and television. The free content online and on TV is not really free at all. Advertisers pay for the production and distribution of all the free content you enjoy in order to influence your buying decisions. Some of the most common advertising techniques used to target youth involve endorsement and hype. Companies pay celebrities you might admire to promote or endorse their products. They use a technique called beautiful people to create the feeling that if you use their products, you will be attractive, happy, and successful too. To hype a product they want you to buy, advertisers use another technique called glittering generality. Glittering generalities associate emotionally appealing words and images to the product without actually presenting any evidence to support their claims. Most forms of deceptive advertising are not illegal in America, even though the Federal Trade Commission concluded in the 1970s that it was unfair to advertise to children because they often accept advertising at face value. Despite the potential harm to young people, deceptive advertising is very common in American media. In fact, the only protection children have from advertising is the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act passed in 1998. This legislation means advertisers can't collect information from children younger than 13 unless they first gain parental consent. But enforcing this legislation is not very practical since children can get around this rule and interact with online sites with or without their parents' approval. You and your friends might think you're safe from the harmful effects of advertising because you don't watch much live TV and prefer to play games online, interact on social media, and stream video content but advertisers are still bombarding you every day with advertising messages. And they make sure you see mostly ads that are related to the specific interests you follow as you search, communicate, or play online. Teens spend billions each year on ads directly marketed to them online. Learning the effects of advertising and the products they sell can help protect you and your friends from deceptive ads or harmful products like tobacco, alcohol, and fast food. Becoming more aware of how advertisers target you to influence how you spend your money can help you become a smarter and more savvy consumer.